request button. So I've gone all shy, there's a camera pointing at me now. <laughs> um, not so much a request, but as a pastor, I was listening to one of the when I'm not sleeping in church, trying to battle sleep. But I heard him say that when you look at, if you want to know how strong a church is spiritually, you look at Wednesday night prayer meeting. And I've never seen this amount of people in prayer meeting before. And furthermore than that, I've never seen so many young people in prayer meeting before. Well, it's because of the joy and the thankfulness to God why I keep repeating it, I cannot forget it. Last year this time, I couldn't be here because of sickness. A lot of people said, just trust in God and we are going to pray for you. And they said, thanks. And I said, so thankful that I came to prayer meeting because I'm sure someone has been praying for me. You know, and uh, I just want to say that the topic tonight, this part of the session tonight, is so relevant to our daily lives. And I pray that, like me, you will find more important prayers. And during the week, I prayed and asked God for protection as we went out each day and for the safety of everyone, that there would be no major upheavals where anybody got injured, etc and things went quite peace, peace, peace away and I give God thanks for that and I'm praying in my heart sincerely that the, what will eventually transpire and culminate out of all the events that are happening now which are pending that the best possible result will come out for the children of God met up over the weekend we had a great reunion because you know after 16 years not seeing each other you grew up with and you had a prayer, good prayer life with in church it was difficult losing it losing, losing contact but now we're back together you know and um, we're praying that things will progress spiritually for us and um i'm very happy to know that um david obedi who is my present prayer partner i've been asking god to help us to be more serious about our, our prayers together and tonight he's here and he's hoping to really you know make things more strong with our prayer life and I thank God for that. I thank God for not forgetting me. Um, I have forgotten him a number of times. Um, yesterday um, um, I had a, one of those encounters you know is not really a coincidence where you actually know, wow, God, this is coming from you. Uh, for a while now, I've actually been having a lot of financial, I've been having a lot of financial difficulties, and I was traveling from Deptford, and you know where you're counting the little pennies you've got, and every little step you're making, you're calculating it. And I was traveling from Deptford, and I actually got the wrong ticket. So when I got to uh, Victoria, I was to be told you can't go through, you've got actually got to go and purchase another ticket. That was, <laughs> to me, that was, I wasn't going anywhere with that. And after having to talk to a lady, she just said, no, actually just tell my friend to wait through the gate. I went through that first step and I was thinking, wow. You know, I was went through. Second time I'm thinking, wow, I've got to purchase a ticket to go underground. I don't know how I'm going to do this. And I'm standing in this long queue and thinking, should I move from here and go downstairs where there's a shorter queue? And suddenly you saw me stand here. And I was standing there thinking, I'm going to be late for my class today. And I stood there, and this gentleman passed two people behind me. And came up <laughs> I literally, I mean, there's tons of people like Victoria. I literally go <coughs> down in tears and I say, Wow, thank you for not being saved. I have forgotten you. There you are, saying, Oh, Lord, I still know you're there and I still know you're each other. And I want you to come back to me. Amen. I know we 
remind the failures in God. So it's a testimony. Okay? And this evening, there's been a special request for one of the guys who is not from our denomination, but who featured very strongly there. And as I left him this evening, he said, and I said, I'm going to prayer meeting. He said, pray for me. I said, I'm always praying for you. So though some of us might judge things a certain way, what God can do will baffle our minds. So as Moses said, is Moses, stand still and see what? They, 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 they stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Okay, that's all I'm saying. So pray for this man, okay, and his family. When there's strife about with John Hofbrow and things are going well in our lives financially or even spiritually, that, um, that God is working and I pray that we may all be encouraged just by seeing our brothers and sisters here today. So I just want to thank God just for that.